What's up, everybody? Today, we're playing a game simply called Roll. Roll! <laughs> uh, this is a, a dice-building roguelike that's supposed to be a very, very chill experience. It's a very right. meditative-style game. Where uh, the idea is just to, to, to roll dice to get the highest numbers possible. But there's, you know, roguelike upgrades and different ways you can change dice faces and stuff to... To really get crazy combos going. And uh, yeah, yeah. going into it blind as we always do. We're going to see how it goes. Welcome to roll. Click anywhere in the highlighted area or press the keyboard key to roll the die. And click me to make me go away. You roll a six. Every time you roll your dice, your points will be collected here for your point bank. Keep rolling to gain more points. Woo. Look at that. We're just rolling dice and we're getting points. You'll notice this number in the upper right keeps going down because we have 2,500 rolls. And I can just, I can hold a click to just keep rolling. Okay. Every time you roll your dice, you'll spend one of your rolls. Your goal is to have the most banked points as possible when this roll counter reaches zero. Okay. And don't stop. Try to reach 170 points by continuing to roll your die. Just keep on rolling. Oh, we can afford an upgrade. Press tab or click on the dot next to the point next to the point shop. You can purchase upgrades for your dice. From here, you can pay the cost listed under an upgrade in order to gain its effect. Hover, a cursor, uh, hover your cursor over an item to read its description. Buy something. Okay. Uh, so a 1x reroller attaches a 1x reroller to a die face. Rerolls the die is attached to uh, one additional time when this is rolled. Bottom left modifier. Uh, okay. So if you don't like the number you get, you can reroll once on a particular face. So you can put a reroll on the but one. On a one. And just right. be like, D stop if rolling. The roll, if the one is rolled, it rerolls. Okay. And then just add five. So, you could just make one, you can make one a six, and then there's two sixes. Or you can put five on a six, and you can have an eleven. Five on eleven. Uh, okay. Uh, plus one, plus two. So, and then the rest of these are locked for now. So, let, let's just uh, add, a, add a plus five. Now, do you want to be more consistent, or do you want to be more swingy? Uh, great question. I, I think we don't put it on the one. I think we try to put like re rolls on the one face. Okay. So and then make something else big. Let's just put it on the six. Sure. There you go. Look at that die. Yeah. Uh so you click on the next upgrade you'd like to purchase. Even if you can't afford it, doing so will flag the upgrade and will be automatically returned to the shop when you have enough points to purchase it. Okay. okay. Useful. So like if you want that re roll thing, you just be like, Hold hold on to that for a second. Yeah, hold on to that until like right. till we hit so it's like you can only yeah. buy that plus five once. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we could get the plus one and plus two. Okay, we can only flag yeah. one thing at a time, though. We can flag one thing at a time. Okay. Okay. And, and then this shows all of the different things that you could possibly get, which I think they're, they're, it's a bit much. Okay. So now, oh, we rolled our big number. So now if we just keep rolling for a bit, once we have enough for that re-roll, we can put that on the one. Yep, and then it, it automatically put me in here. So let's just, uh, we'll re-roll that, because we don't want that. And then I guess we'll, we'll wait until we get the two. Yep. Oh, yeah, see, and then we're, we're, we're re-rolling those ones when they pop up. Uh, and then I, I almost want to just have this just giant one side of just just giant side. Yeah. Oh, it gave up on pips. It's just like, look, there's thirteen of them. <laughs> uh oh, there's also unlocks shop level too. You know what? Maybe we save for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just like seeing the thirteen pop up. 
Okay, and then yeah, we just we re-roll to get that going. But yeah, like I said, it's a very chill game. This is this is a game to relax to. This isn't like your big your big alien explosions or nothing. This is gonna be a nice relax and chill game. But we'll eventually be able to set up some crazy wombo combos. Makes sense. Uh, uh, and there we are. Unlock shop level two. Now we have a second die, it looks like. Ooh. Ah, but still only oh, the yeah. same. Yeah, a higher quality upgrades and an additional die. Uh, okay. So refresh stock. Uh, so we do that. Oh, free. do you get? Looks like you get a free, you get a free reroll every hundred. It said. Uh, yes. You have to get rid of the second shelf unlock thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, so we could have been rerolling. Yeah, I I shop for a while. I saw the cross out and I just assumed it was going to be later, but it was just the cost is crossed out and it's free for a period of time. That's fine. Okay. So well, we got another plus six. We got a fifteen. A plus six. Replace a die with a fifteen. So that's not a plus. That's just a. It's a fifteen. Oh, that's now. Good to replace, like, the two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, add a lock. Adds a 400 roll lock to a die. The die cannot be modified and will have no value for 400 rolls. After 400 rolls, the die will become unlocked and duplicate itself. Ooh. So that's just... get. You'll get a whole new die, but you got to sacrifice 400 rolls for it. And then it duplicates the die. Yes. So if we So we can make a die better and then lock it? Yes. But then, ooh, 400 rolls is a lot, but I, I don't know. Uh, three times re-roller. So it re-rolls the die that it's attached to three additional times when it's rolled. Okay. Okay. Add a three. Adjacency multiplier. Replace a die face with a five times adjacency modifier. This face is worth five times the sum of all adjacent numeric die faces. Okay, so that's if okay. you have a bunch of dice. So you'll actually want that on... Well, it's adjacency... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Adjacent num numeric die faces, so... Yeah, so if we get a... The four, if we get a bunch the, of dice, we can have this one in the center. And mul if this comes up, we can multiply all the dice around well, it. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm reading that as the dice faces, Right, yeah. so like if you roll, if you put that on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for example, if you look at our die, yeah, it's like if we if you rolled, uh, like say, like imagine these are our dice. If we rolled this, we would multiply this fifteen by five for that roll. Would multiply whatever this is by five. No, see, that's not no. what I'm reading. No. I'm reading the just the the faces of the die, right? So, no. like how uh, the one and six are on opposite sides of a die. Yeah. So if you put that instead of the one face. It would multiply the roll with the the two, the five, the four, and the three, because they're the adjacent faces. Maybe, but I with as many dice as you're rolling, I feel like it would be the other way around. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Is we we uh, no, actually now yeah. if you hover over it, it says right yeah. at the top the four dice directly yeah. below, below to the left and right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well. Uh, let's see, numeric multiplier, replace a die face with a 4x numeric multiplier. This face is worth four times the largest rolled numeric die. Okay. And then adjacency re-rollers. Okay. So, uh, this is a nice cheap one to start with. Let's just try to get this 15 yeah. on something. So maybe the the second die is number one, just replaced with a fifteen, because the other one is uh, re-rolling. Yeah. Yep. So do something like that, and then um, maybe this numeric multiplier, or or if we want to just get the cheap stuff out or, of the way and just or or like the the plus six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll we'll, we'll get these pluses out of the way. And it's like, we could be re-rolling the shop, but these, these are fine for now. And we don't need to get all the pluses. Like, we don't need to take that yeah. plus three. Yeah. We can, especially since it's a free re-roll every hundred, we could just be like, all right, so let's, like, make that one, make that six a twelve and... 
Uh, or you can make the, we can make the five and eleven. What do what do we think? Is it better better to hard focus one face or to spread it out? Maybe we spread out right die and we hard focus left die. Okay. So like maybe like upgrade this two to like uh what an eight. Uh yeah, do that. Okay. And then if we're doing that, then should we get the triple re-roll on the other die? And just be like, look, if you don't roll the one big number, you're just going to re-roll it. Um, I'm, I'm almost wondering if we are interpreting this wrong. And it's actually, it's re-rolling it as in giving that, the, the redoing the value of it that many times. Where, like, now it's just when we roll a one with the one extra roller, we roll the one and we get two ones. Just because of the the way that this is a three X re roller, it just. It's like, why would it be three X if it didn't work that way? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, we actually might want to up the value of that one that we have or change it to something else. Yeah. Maybe we get this numeric multiplier and then we put that over the one. Yeah. Or we put it over something else and then put the three X multiplier on the times four numeric. Or we could just hit the reroll and see what better options we have. Uh, it's true, but I I like the idea of big multiplies. True. Yeah, let, let's uh. Let's do this one. I don't know how how long it'll take us to get a thousand, but that's a hundred. Oh, we're we're rolling our big numbers. Uh, it's it's unfortunate when that one comes up. Now that now that I think that it's uh not doing us any favors. So I think what it's doing is that we're getting the one, and then it's giving us one free roll on that die. Okay. And whatever it's popping to, we're just getting that as well. So the if basically if we roll the one on that die, it's not counting against our but, count. But we'd still rather that one not be a one. Be something big. Correct. So then in that case, we really want re-rolls on every die face so that if we, well, no matter what we roll, we're rolling again. Okay. So maybe we put like the times four on this two and then like the the three x re-roller on this and then we try to replace this one with something a little bit better anyway because i don't think the the corner value will get overwritten i think i agree with both of those statements okay so then uh we, we save for this one yep Let's see if we can't get a a big a big multiplier shot in the arm here. Uh, have we have we noticed any big jumps? Nah, not any huge jumps. Uh, okay, but and we're not gonna get huge jumps until we start getting more dice. Yes. So we probably should save yeah. up for unlocking another die. Uh, okay. Also, we currently have seven. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. I uh, see. Look at that oh, with all those extra free rerolls in there now. Yeah, it, it does slow down a bit when that happens because you, you can't just motor through it. Yeah. So, I, I would say if there was a way to to speed that process no, up, but it's it's a chill game. It is a chill game, but it, it yeah, it's, break, gotta, it, just gotta be... it's breaking the flow a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I want to just see the dots go burr. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get an extra die in here. Very close. Uh, how much was it again? I don't know, it was like 1,000 something. 
I, uh, it's 1,000 something. That's as far as I got, unfortunately. Uh, apparently it was high 1,000 something. Maybe it was like 1,900 or something. And my brain just saw 1,000. It's like, yeah, it's fine. It's close enough. Yeah, right. But we're going to get there. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, see, look, those rerolls, man. They're, like, messing with my flow. Okay. So now we got a... I got three dice. A new die. Uh, do we want to just kind of see what new things we can discover here? Yeah, I think I think so. Either that or we want... Do we want to just get a bonus die after 400 rolls? Um, you know what? Sure. Uh, uh, it's technically just another way of getting an extra die. Uh, and then, but then the question is, which die do we lock? Uh, also, can we reposition where these dies are? I yes, it was, it was in the shop. I could, yeah, that symbol. And I okay. assume that we can move them around okay. the well, bottom right. Well, the, oh. the this is fine. Uh, the show in the, the middle spaces. is fine. But uh, I'm just thinking in the future for like if in we get future ones, yeah. if we get things that are like more directional in nature, we're gonna we're gonna want dice to be in specific places. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're just cruising through. Just about have enough. So I say we just lock Which, the, new, no. the new die. You want to lock the new die? Yeah, because that one's got it's, the. It's got the least on it, but that means it's gonna have the the worst. Oh yeah, because it's gonna duplicate. duplicate. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we duplicate this right die then. That's our our biggest oh, yeah. numeric one, and it doesn't have these re rolls, which drive me crazy. <laughs> All the more, all that's true. I was gonna say all the more reason to lock yeah. the the middle die so that we don't have to worry about those rerolls for four hundred yeah. rolls. Yeah, but then we'll have to worry about having two of them after four hundred rolls. All right, this does mean we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna slow down quite a bit for the next four hundred rolls. Uh, right. Is it so now? Is now it, let's get a refresh. Whew. Third shelf unlocked. Uh, Did I say items purchased here will create a new dice. Uh, I, I zoomed right by it. Uh, this is a multiplier specifically to the die face. So we could put that on like a, a big number. Yeah. And, and then here's a 30 right here. So we can just a 30 times three. Yeah. Up uh, times six. Attaches an incrementer to all six faces on a die. Uh, increments the face that is attached to every time it is rolled. Um, oh, so every time you roll that, it just gives a plus one to everything on the die? That seems pretty good. I think we have two of those. So, it says time six, so I'm guessing it, it happens six times and then it's done. Because otherwise that'd be horribly broken. But, that seems pretty good. Yeah. All right, uh, what are these other plus the plus dice ones that we're looking at here? Blank die generator. Replace the die face with a blank die generator. Every 30 times this face is rolled, it will generate a new blank die. Okay. A blank die which does nothing when rolled. So huh. you have to put faces on it. But you get one of those every 30 every thirty times that comes up, which is yeah. pretty good. Uh, quantity die generator. Replace a die with a quantity die generator. Every 150 times this face is rolled, it will create a new quantity die. Quantity die is a die with random quantity multipliers on five faces and a quantity die generator on one face. All right. Okay. And this face is worth the multiplier. 
of times the total quantity of dice in play. Oof. That uh, actually seems really strong. Okay, well that's probably why it's the most expensive thing here. Yeah. Another blank that's die another blank die. Uh, a half incrementer die. Die with numeric one and attach half incrementer on every face. Uh, increments the face it is uh, done every other time, but it doesn't have a limb. Well, no, it still says time six, so. No idea. But it is an extra die. And then a four leaf clover. It's a clover die. All lottery faces uh, on the same die as a four leaf clover are more likely to be successful. When rolled, all rolled lottery faces are more likely to be successful. And a lottery face is any face that has some percentage chance to be successful. Those are some huge numbers. Yes. Honestly, I kind of want, like, half of the things on this page. But they're all very expensive. Yes. I say we start with these incrementers because they're relatively... Either, in Actually, yeah. maybe even just this 30 because it's... Yeah, the thirty is expensive, uh, and we did just lock away our one of our bigger dice. Yeah. For some time to come. I do wish that that number counted down, so we could see where we we're at. Yeah, I I agree with that. So where are we gonna put this thirty? Are we gonna replace the reroll one, the regular one? Uh, probably yeah. the yeah. one of the ones on the regular one because that's got a times four already. Basically, have that middle die be the yeah. multiplier die. Okay. And then just I because it's, now... it's still cheap, I'm just gonna grab this plus eight too, just uh, to yeah. kind of get us there. Honestly, and then after that, do we want the times three because it could just have that be yeah. a multiplier die? Uh, yeah, I don't hate it. But uh, I think that's just a times three to whatever is th on that face and not multiplying other things. Oh, right. So, like, we could put it on the 30 to have it be a 90. That would be a 90. Huh, that's true. Uh... Or we could just start building up towards the incrementers. Um, hmm. So then what, make that a... Make it a Make it a 10 yeah, over on the left eye? 10. Eye? Just more opportunities for this multiplier to multiply things that are yeah. decent. Uh, Yeah, and then just uh, let's get an incrementer. Yeah, let's get, get the here. incrementer so we can see how that exactly works. Okay. Well, that's building up pretty quick. Yeah, I was going to say we're, we're starting to cook here. We're, I want to say, like 100 rolls past that 400. Yeah, give or take. Okay, okay. I want I want a times for that 30. Right? G give me more of them pips. Come on, come on. We're looking for about 1600 if I remember correctly. Yeah, somewhere 16, 17, somewhere in there. Yeah, because there's... Oh, there you go. It's like there were two, but one costs 100 more than the other, so I started with the cheaper one. Yeah, I thought it was 17-something uh, and 18-something. Yeah, you're definitely right, because we, we blew right by 16. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me reread that. Adds uh, an incrementer to all six faces. Yes. Increments the face it is attached to every time it is rolled. Increases the number shown on the numeric die face by one. Has no effect on non-numeric faces, which would be, you know, like the times four multiplier or something like that. Okay. So I do think that if we put that on the left eye, that's literally just those numbers will all go up by one every time that face is rolled. And you've put that on all six faces now. All right. So that die is just going to slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger every time we roll any face. And will it ever expire, or will it just be to the moon forever? Uh, no, I think it's to the moon forever. All right. It's only going up by one. It is now it is going to slow you down, because now every time that left die rolls, it's going to go up by one. 
Which, to that end, the other incrementer that we got, we can't put that on the left die because it goes in the same spot. Well, we can put it in the center die. or We, we could put it, it in the center die, but the oh, right can die. we just hold it? Yeah. I think we should just hold it. Because the middle die is going to be a multiplier, and I don't know if the multiplier is going to work with an incrementer. Uh, th this has slowed down the process pretty considerably, though. But that left eye is getting nuts. And the left guy is getting big. But I, I, I miss the flow that we had once. Look, is there an options menu? Uh, I mean, I'm sure there is. Uh, but uh, roll speed slow. Uh, well, <laughs> one is called ultra. Oh, we'll start I with mean... we'll start with quick. Ah, oh, that's ah. Oh, that's what you're looking for. Ah, oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we could grab that, or we could just hold on to it. Now the times uh, we... three, we could just grab now since they're going up and up and up and up and up. Just putting this on the highest face and just being like, it's going to be that one face is going to be times three every time, and the, yeah. the base number is going to get higher and higher. That's true. And it's something to buy while we're just kind of. Hanging out, waiting for that other die to finish so we can put the other incrementer on it. Uh, yeah. So, you just put it right there. And I then... think that we should get the, the the gamble die. It's expensive, but... But we have no... No gambles. No, it, it but it adds an entire die. With a four-leaf clover on every face. Yes, and the four-leaf clovers... Uh make a uh, percentage chance dice be more successful and we don't have any percentage based dice. Wait. When when rolled all rolled lottery faces are more likely to be successful and we don't have any lottery faces, we just have four leaf clover faces. So we all lot all lottery faces on the same die as a four leaf clover. Oh yeah, so so we 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 have no lottery faces to 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 do anything with that right now. Okay, I got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right, so I think we just uh, maybe we just hang out for a while until this until other die yeah. finishes. Do we buy the one where it's 150, 150 rolls to get a new die? Uh, how much was it? If that's the eight, oh, yeah. the eight and a half thousand, yeah, but that is... Yeah, you know, well, well, we'll hold on to that just just in case. And we do still need two more dice. Well, we need two more dice, one of which we'll get when we when that 400 rolls is up. Yeah. I'm basically just waiting for that, that locked die to, to become available again. But uh, More dice means more money more fast. That, that left die is it's getting saucy. Yeah, it's getting saucy. All right. So quantity die generator is uh is here. Replaces a die face with a quantity die generator. Every 150 times this face is rolled, it will create a new quantity die. So I think yeah. that goes on our middle die and goes over the, like... The one? So we can, we can yeah. re-roll it. Yeah. All right. And then we can buy the incrementer if we want so that we can be ready for the new die. Uh, can we buy it and then not... Oh, that I don't know. Yeah, I think we just ch chill, and because this this four hundred die has got to be close, so because I felt like we bought it at around two thousand, and we're in the sixteen hundred, so I feel like it's 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 got to be just about ready. So I wanna, and I mean building up a little stockpile here is not bad. Ah, okay, we're in. Oh. When that unlocked in, we got a, a new boy. Oh, yeah, because it doubled. That's right. It, it doubled it. It duplicated itself. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, so now we can put the incrementer on it. We grab this. Uh, we'll do it to the the OG. The OG. Okay. Uh, and, then, and then I think we re-roll. We have 12 re-rolls here. Uh, yeah. Because it's like the, the, the blank die generators. I'm just like, eh, because then we got to figure out what we're going to put on them. Exactly. And the other incrementer is a half incrementer. Whoa. 
replace a die face with a die rebate. If this uh, face is face up when a new die is created, then the next die's roll will be worth an additional 1,000 for each die added. Huh. That seems neat, but it also seems real specific. Also, another incrementer. It's another incrementer. So we can increment that other other die we just made. Yeah. Uh, there's a plus six. There's and a, ti a plus times two? Uh, let's look at this expensive one while we have the money for it. As sure. a numeric multiplier die. A die with a random numeric multipliers on all six faces. Example die faces are just times two, times five, times ten, times four. Uh, this face is worth the stated multiplier times the largest rolled num numeric face. Ooh, that seems really oh, good. That does seem pretty good. You, I'm going to just... Boom. Bing. You can hover your cursor over the roll counter in the top right corner to read stats about the most recent roll. It'll also highlight your highest scoring die. Okay. Highest uh, scoring first, die was one die with 240. With yeah, die, die one. So that's, I guess, the middle one? Uh, or the left one. Or the left one? I don't know. <laughs> eh. Total score for the complete roll is 304. Okay. Hey. So Now, is there anything? What do we want in the shop next? Now, what's the plus time plus times two? Uh, attaches a times two multiplier to a die face, so it'll, that face will be multiplied by two whenever it's rolled. So it's like the the times three that we got earlier. It's just weird that it's a plus times two as opposed to a times just a times two, right? Was the other one on uh, just a times three, not a plus times three? I, I don't remember. I think it, I thought it was. I don't remember not. We have a 25 uh, face. That's another multiplier. Uh, uh, I say we hold... We, we Also, let's see. The incrementer, oh, yeah. Uh, choose any two size or positions will be swapped. Whatever. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's hold on to this incrementer. Get that going early. Yeah. And then... Uh, oh, we, <laughs> we, make, yep. we make dots a lot faster now. All right, so let's that get those on that top die. Incrementer up here. So actually, it may seem a little silly, but that uh, the the swap two dice faces. Yeah. Bit might yeah. not be a terrible one to get like the the thirteen off of our middle die. Um, and put it on one of the ones that are actually growing. You know what? Sh sure. We're gonna get this in like one roll. By the way. Exactly one roll. <laughs> there you go. Now you can like swap okay. the thirteen with like one of the fours, but will that will that take the the numeric with it? That would oh, be a... that would be problematic, actually. Huh. I don't think I'd like that's this a... plan anymore. <laughs> that's a good point. Okay. Um... Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think that's problematic. Also, look how big Lefty's gotten. Is it? Look how big Lefty's gotten, but look at the, the, the giant multiplier die on the bottom there. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. That's pretty crazy. You want to swap, like, the times four and the re-roll with, with the times three on the one below it? So that oh. if we roll that bottom die, we'll hit the... If we roll that one, we'll get a multiplier and then re-roll into another multiplier? The re-roll stayed. Oh. Well, all right. So but, we could have... But, but we learned. That's fine. We learned. Uh, let's, let's upgrade our shop here. Dink. Yeah, we, we earned dots real quick now. Oh, which gives us a new die. A new die, yep. Uh, and then I say we, we re-roll. We got plenty of re-rolls now. Yeah, we have lots of re-rolls. Although, actually, put oh, a, a, a times ten numeric multiplier on, like, the new die so we can... Oh, yeah. So let's just, uh... Get that very quickly. Put that. Or do you want that on the new die, or do you want that on the middle die? Because that's the one that's got the the extra re rolls. Uh, it does, but it's already got good stuff on those re rolls. And this one is like it's got nothing, and it and this is a multiplier that affects. Oh, I'm sorry. The yeah, devices. the new new die. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that. I forgot the new die. Yeah. Uh, poor guy. Just trying to live do his we, life. Do we care about a 25 face? Nah. Well, not with 11 re-rolls, we don't. Uh, 
Let's see. Items purchased here are passive abilities that are always active. So these are passive abilities. The centermost die, die one, has its value increased by 200%. So whatever it would roll. Okay. Uh, which means that we can put our big value die in the middle. And then just go nuts. And then mm, less than six dice re-roll. The total quantity of dice in play is less than six. All dice will be re-rolled three additional times. I mean, that's never going to happen. Uh, well, how many? Uh, we currently we have, have six, six dice. So as long as we don't get any more dice. No, it says less than six, not less than or equal to six. Ah, well, yeah, yeah I guess that's fair. <laughs> uh, let's get this bullseye. Oh, hey, hey! Look, a thirty percent chance. Yeah. So that, now, there's a lot again, of did did we figure out if we could move dice around? Um. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe we can. I, th I think that middle die is the middle die. And then yeah, this just tells. That us just what. lets you see what all the different options are. All right. So then. Heck with all right, well, what are the other passive? Uh, what are the other things we can get there? Shop weight. After purchasing a shop weight, the next item purchased from the shop and all items similar to it will be more likely to appear in the stock shop in the future. Okay. Oh, so if we want, so we could get like the shop weight and then the times ten. You know what? I don't hate that. What's the? Let's, let's see. see. What are the other things we got here? We got adds numeric to itself as the number shown on a numeric face to itself. So effectively doubling its face. Okay. Sure, sure. And then a three times re-roller. Void. Replace a die face with a void. When this face is not rolled, it doubles the value of whichever face is rolled. Otherwise, it has no value. Works on any non-slow face, and it's a fair face. Uh, so a, a die with a fair face on it cannot be weighted, which means that you can weight dice. Interesting. <laughs> huh. A slow die calculates its value after all of the dice and roll and after all passive abilities have been applied. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and then also, so, but, but it makes it so that the die can roll the void, which is a zero roll. Yes. Which can't be modified in any way. But if it's not rolled, it just doubles whatever the roll was. Yeah. Which it's its own level of gambling. <laughs> Plus, die face with a loyalty card. Every 1,500 times this face is rolled, it will permanently reduce the cost of all shop items by 20%. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. That's, well, that's cool on a die that re-rolls a lot. Yes. Right. Uh, the eight die. Just you make a die. 16, that's... 24, 32, 40, 48. Okay. That's fine. And then a maximum numeric die. A die with numeric faces with 94 through 99. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Pretty good. I don't hate that. There's there's a gamble die over on the right there. Uh, or is that again just a gamble face? Thirty percent chance to get a hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just thirty percent chance to get a hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then right sum. Replace a die face with a right sum. This face is worth the value of all dice directly to the right of this die. If this face is pointing at a left sum, all dice between the two will be multiplied by two, and the total quantity of dice between them. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, I, I kind of like the shop weight and then doing like a times 10, just simple stuff. You are. Simple stuff for simple brains like me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Happened very quickly. Uh, all right. And then now we just hold on to that. And then we grab this times 10 multiplier. Um, put put that over on the the, the, 60, the two. Uh, oh right, the times ten multiple. Gotcha. Yeah, because this eighty three's already got a times three, so I can either overwrite that, but they're all gonna eventually be ninety nine anyway. Yeah. So, so put that on the put the, the sixty six and sixty six. And now theoretically, that'll appear more often. Uh, yeah. Uh, I also kind of want to just grab an extra die that's just. Already. Yeah, just big numbers, yeah. And then after that, maybe, maybe well, re-roll. Do, do you want the passive bullseye? Just because 
Uh, since it's based like, on the centermost die, I'm just like, if, if the centermost die hits multipliers, it's it's good. But otherwise, you're right; it's not. That. Yeah. And there'll always be those will always be passives when I reroll. Just that section is passive down. And go reroll. We got lots of rerolls. Hey, look at times plus ten. Plus ten. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Oh, we uh, have some options here. Glue and super glue are now bottom right modifiers. Any existing glue or super glue will replace any existing bottom right modifiers. When a face with glue lands face up as a result of reroll, it gets stuck on the glued face for the next three rerolls. Uh, uh And the super glue is right uh, uh, five rerolls. Uh, less than 30 dice bonus. If the total quantity of dice in play is less than 30, the value of all dice is increased by 100. Well, look, we're, we're in there. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Uh, so you know what? Let's, let's let's hold for that one. Uh, oh, that's another bottom okay. left there. By the way, is another maximum numeric, die. maximum numeric die. Yeah, well, let's get the times ten. Let's get the the this one. We'll get that one because we got plenty of time. Uh, the diarist. This face is worth the total quantity of dice in play. Uh, this also has a chance when rolled to replace an adjacent numeric dice with a diarist. If across all rolled dice there are zero numeric die faces, the value of all diarises will be multiplied by 10. Oh, so it slowly See? will infect yeah. our dice. Okay. Hmm. Well, what's the one below the diarise? Uh, random consecutive die. So there'll be consecutive numbers, ah. but they'll be random. So it's not necessarily as good as the maximum one, unless you have a reason I, that you want to yeah. roll lower numbers. I agree. All right. So I think we we just do a times ten on a ninety nine here real quick. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we'll just hold that. Get the, one. the, the get the bottom left eye. Uh, yeah, yeah. A huge eye. Oh, we hit that that big roll. We hit, we're hitting the things very quickly now. All right. Yeah, yeah. Th things things are starting to take off here. Yeah, we're right, now we're just now just passively. We just as long as we stay below thirty dice. Okay. Right, and then re-roll again. Yeah, I think I like re-rolling again here. You have purchased your first passive ability. You can view all of your passive abilities by clicking on the small arrow on the right side of your screen. Neat. Uh, if no numeric ninety nines are rolled, the value of all dice will be increased by ninety nine. Well, that's oh, that's, not that's what unfortunate. We're doing. <laughs> uh, buy one get one free. Whenever you purchase an item in the shop, another cheaper item will have its cost reduced to one. This ability may be purchased more than once. For each BOGO purchase, an additional item will be made free. Dang. That's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, numeric set all dice faces. Choose a numeric die face. All other faces of the chosen die will become duplicates of that chosen face. Removes all attached modifiers. If it wasn't for the attached uh, modifiers part. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then just... Yeah, see, it's plus X3. And for the multiplier. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, attach re-incrementer attaches a re-incrementer to a die face when a numeric 99 has its face value increased if a re-incrementer is attached to it it will become a numeric 1 and it will be its value will be permanently increased by 50% so I'm not sure how I understand like a, like a, like a prestige thing so, so it can go up to like 150 next time or something I don't know so something I, I mean, we could test. We could test it. That sounds kind. That sounds cool. Place a die face with a doubler. At the start of each complete roll, this die face will be worth thirty-two, but it doubles in value every two times the die it is attached to is re-rolled. We re-roll that middle die an awful lot. Yeah, that should go on the middle die. Well, let's hold on to you. <laughs> Just <laughs> and what's the what's the one on the far left of that there? The selfish reroller. Replace the die face with a selfish reroller. When rolled, the die that this face is attached to will be rerolled five additional times. A selfish reroller will always act as though it has a heavy weight attached to it. Oh. The heavy weight will make the die it is attached to be much more likely to roll the bottom right modifier. Oh, wait, no, it is a bottom right modifier. The heavy weight will yeah. make this die uh, face it's so, attached to. Okay. So, so it'll reroll itself five times, but it's more likely to just hit this face again anyway. Okay. Which is good on a die that just wants to re-roll a lot, if it doesn't care what face comes up. Okay, which is sort of what we got going on. Yeah. So, but I say we put the, the doubler first. Yeah. 
And then, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, then we put the selfish roller on it as well, and we really go nuts. Yeah. So, just, so take out the yeah. three, and, and then we build the selfish roller, and... <laughs> it's so fast. It's very fast. And then replace, replace the four. four. And then, um, honestly, oh, what's the what's the? Oh yeah, no, we already figured out the bottom. Right? You you thinking reroll? Yeah, let's stop again. Do that. Uh, let's see. Numeric ninety nines are immune to the effects of all viral faces. <laughs> that <laughs> interesting. Uh, and then numeric multipliers will multiply the value of the last two largest uh, die rolls instead of the largest one. We can make real good use we out of that. We can make huge use out of that. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna flag that immediately. Uh, die with seven sevens on everything. Uh, avoid um, die on just, every face. Uh, avoid die times two plus eight, sixty-eight. Okay, yeah, I think we just just get that and then yeah, <laughs> refresh the shop again. Yeah, oh, we should also be upgrading the shop too because oh yeah, gives us an additional die and more further upgrades. Yeah, we're going to see that symbol in the middle a lot, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just um, get the upgrade going. It'll give us our ninth die. We just got to stay below 30, I think it was. Correct. Yeah, let's just stay, just stay south of 30 and we're fine. So, Boop. You can click and drag the magnifying glass in the bottom right corner to view all the faces of your die and drop it on a die to get the details of its most recent complete roll. Okay. Uh, but I think we roll here. The 1% chance to get all the things. Uh, another maximum numeric die. Another yep. incrementer die. Oh, there's another. A attach block all of die. times three re rollers, though. We, that middle die can be re roll central. Uh, you get the bottom left multiplier, and it would put. Yeah. yeah, that should be fine, right? Yeah. And then another times 10. But that's getting pricey. A lot of these are getting real pricey. Yeah. Whenever a new die or dice are created, create an additional standard die. That's kind of cool. And then the the less than six. Is that just uh, a regular times 10, by the way? Is that... Yeah, I think uh, the more... No. Oh. Uh, replace a die face with a 10 times roll multiplier. It's worth 10 times the value of all... Other non-slow dice in the roll. Oh, oh, so it's, so it's ten times everything, not just the face itself. And it's slow, which means it calculates at the end of everything else calculating. Okay, that's why that's so expensive because that's. Right. Well, we're, I think we get the the re-roller first. Yep. Oh, there's another incrementer. <laughs> if we mm. want it on our new baby die. Um. Uh... Or do we just work on replacing those faces? <laughs> Yeah, maybe we just replace it with like the times ten, the times two. Just we'll just make that another yeah. multiplier die. Sure. Oh, it's going up very yeah, fast. Yeah, it's going very fast. So then, just boop, boom, uh, and then uh, we'll we'll get the times two first because it's cheaper. Why don't Why don't we put the the, the one percent on that die too? Just be like. It's, it's stupid, but it could hit. <laughs> but what if? But what if? So, but it's not even a one percent. It's a one percent of the, of, of, of the one out of six. Yeah, <laughs> like it's Correct. them odds is not strong. Well, look, what if we what if we put more? Uh, what if we put some uh, uh, clovers on that die? Uh, we'd have to find them, but we could. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's I'm gonna get the things. times ten first, and then and then I'll do it just for the All lulls. Right. Our two bottom corner dice are both kind of sad. It's true. Look at that middle. Look at that middle die just going absolutely ham. Well, yeah, because it re-rolls eight thousand billion times, and then there's one face that gets a bajillion uh, score for the re-rolls. We are we're we're making some points now. Yeah, on some very few rolls, honestly. Uh, so there we go. Now we'll we'll hold on to this. 
Actually, do we make the the bottom left one just multipliers? And then it's like, where do we where do we put that lottery face? That's the trick, right? We've got huh. the bottom left die, which has a bunch of empty spaces. The bottom right die, which has oh. a bunch. It's also and, has or a the, multiplier on it, to be fair. Or or the middle die, which still has a five face, with as many times as that face re rolls. But then we're not putting lucky things on that same die. Oh, that's true. That's true. Good point. So, uh, so we put that on the bottom right on the two and then look for clovers for that the rest of that die. Yeah, it's just, we should have put these multipliers all in the same thing, but whatever. Look, would we, we might find another face swap. And then now just re-roll and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. And numeric, numeric. Uh, attach all one X re-rolls. That's old hat. Uh, let's see, make all n n numerals the same numeral. Uh, should look at these. Allows all group effects to be applied to non-numeric faces as well as numeric faces. Okay. A doubles, triples, or Yahtzee effect. Uh, oh. 50 dice bonus. The total quantity of die in play is greater than or equal to 50. So that's the opposite. Greater of than or equal to. Okay, yep. Three X adjacency re-roller. Uh, we can make a new die that is a clover die, which would be sad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I think I might just... Well, uh, although, get a clover die and then work on just swapping the that one lottery onto that die later. If we find it. Might, I... might be easier than looking for five or four or five clovers. We can try it, but we'd have to find that specific face, and I don't know how rare or unrare it's true. it is. But we can try it. Oh, look at him, just all by himself over there. He's got a clover die that's doing clover die things. All right, so now Scarlet. let's... let's, let's, uh, let's... What's the, yeah, oh, what's yeah. the 25 re-roller sitting there? Uh, total re-roll multiplier. Replace the die face with a total re-roller multiplier. If that die face's statue has been re-rolled at least 25 times during a complete roll, this face is worth 25 times the value. Uh, that could probably go on our middle die. That sounds like math. It is, <laughs> but look, it's math that the game will do, not us. That's true. Uh, viral die quantity multipliers are not really doing. I don't trust it. No glue or super glue roll. The dice will be re-rolled an additional time. We don't have glue. All dice, yeah. All dice will be re-rolled. Yeah, that's a pretty good okay. passive. Exact Get an exact duplicate of one of, of, one of your dice. dice. That add, could be really good. At a breeding die, which is when you roll it enough times. It just makes more. Dice. Following roll, replace the die face with a 5x. Following roll multiplier, when this die is rolled, the next roll on the same die will be worth five times more. Uh, it's just a re-incrementer. And what's the top left one? Heavy weight. Oh, yeah, the re-incrementer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the wild. <laughs> uh, it's worth the same amount as the highest scoring die face. And there's there's just some, there's a lot of things. There's some things here. None none of them are helping getting the 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 lottery thing on the lottery thing. But um. although we could we could wait the lottery face. Um. Yeah. No, so that 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 in and of itself rolls more often. Uh, but it, or do we put that on one of the clovers yeah. in the, with the intention of moving it over there eventually? Yeah, I think we do that because it, it's the yeah. the modifier doesn't move. We discovered so. Uh, I think we just yeah grab we get this. that no glue reroll because that's I think that's huge. Boy, our our score does go up pretty pretty fast. Yeah. Just imagine if we hit that 7777 seven, 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 and all the multipliers at the same time. Uh it will be it will be worth some amount of points. But yeah, we're 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 cooking now. All right. Honestly, we make so many points that it, it's hard to tell if it was if it's going off. Uh, okay. So this five. That five's gotta go. <laughs> there we go. And then I think we, we re-roll at this point, because we're, we're looking for some uh, things. Yeah. 
Uh, time. Oh, the face swap. The face swap. Hey, there you go. It does not change the positions of the modifiers. It specifically said it. Also, we just had enough to just do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and did you put that on the? Did you put that on the right face? Yeah, I did. This is the weight. Oh, good. The weight. Same, same, same. I just as the screen switched, I was like, wait, is the weight? Wasn't the weight on the other die? Uh, or the other face? No, we're good. So, so there's another a gamble thing that we could put over there if we want. If we want, but I don't necessarily think we need to. We don't need to. But... What what the heck is that times a thousand plus twenty five hundred percent? Like the total quantity of dice in play is greater than or equal to a thousand. <laughs> the value of all dice is increased by twenty five hundred percent. That that's a lot of dice. That's a lot of dice. What was it what do we have a dice shredder? Uh, numeric multipliers will multiply the value of the largest roll die instead of Oh it, it'll it'll Multiply the value of the largest die quantity multiplier face instead of the largest numeric face. It allows die quantity multipliers to receive the effects of attached multipliers. Uh, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Because these are... Uh, all, all of our dice that have like a times three, times ten, whatever, those would instead uh. become times three of all the dice or times ten of all the dice. Uh, yeah, that's the largest numeric dice. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Die quantity multiplier. Well, we don't have... Uh, I think this is better if you have a lot of dice, and we. Don't. I think I think so, or and a yeah. lot of multipliers. Gener uh, generator die shredder. Every twenty times this is rolled, it will delete the most recently created die and reduce the generator value on all phase of generators by one. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, there's a. 5x multiplier. We have a multiplier die. Oh, yeah. Uh, You're going to do one reroll and jump from 12,000 to 60,000. Okay, not quite so good. Not quite so good, but enough to buy it. Oh, wait. That's a... Oh. I thought it was a it was a multiplier, not a thing. Ah, I died, done, goofed. It's fine. It's fine. Just reroll. <laughs> Pretend no one notices. Okay, what do we got? Multi-numeric multiplier. Place a die face with a 10x multi-numeric multiplier. This face is worth 10 times the most common numeric face in the roll times the number of times the most common numeric face occurred. So that's good if you're rolling a lot of the same things, which are... We're are, technically are, rolling a lot of 99s, or we're aiming towards it. Yeah, uh, this one's at 99, and we got a couple 99s here, and the rest of them will be there shortly. So we this could guy's put that got on. a 99, this one's got a 99. These ones will get there eventually. Eventually. So yeah, we could put that on one of the two new newer dice there. Numbered dice there. Uh, maybe I put that over the, the one die that I just messed up to, to hide my shame. <laughs> it's... Uh, also, we got another selfish re-roller. Which... I don't know if we need another one, I necessarily. Th I think we do on that middle you one. Think so? oh, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, no, because... Hold on. I thought I saw somewhere where it said you can uh, wait. You can't have multiple weights on the same die. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, what are the two bottom right? Pa what are the two bad passives in the shop there? A square quantity reroll. The quantity of dice in play are a square number. All dice will be rerolled two additional times. That's math. Uh, <sighs> and then if there are exactly nine dice in play, all dice are considered adjacent to one another, and the value of dice will be multiplied by three. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. We just got 10th dice. It's true. <laughs> Look, we could have tried to shred it. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's put you over this 13. Yeah. And then let's save you. So that middle die is just reroll central. And then if it lands on that one thing, after all the rerolls, good things happen. Uh, there now. No one will know that I did anything bad there. 
let's see. I think we just re-roll here. I think so. <laughs> do, you, do you want another shot at the gamble? No, I, I don't think I need another lottery face. Ultra incrementer to a die face. Uh, increments the face it is attached to in all adjacent die faces every time it is rolled. That's neat, but we don't need that at this point, necessarily. And then we got two increment uh, acceptors. Although it is not a numeric, this face can be incremented. The value of this face permanently increases by one every time it is incremented. Every time an incrementor or a half incrementer is attached to this die face, permanently increases its value by 111. Jeez. Okay. And then, if the value of all... Uh, the value of all even numeric faces will be increased by 100%, but we're getting a lot of 99, so that's a little sad. Uh, when you're down to your last roll, get 100 more rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that might just be worth the money, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably. It's, it's going to make... You know, I'm going to not take it, because it's going to yeah, be a longer it'll, video. It'll make it longer, yeah. Uh, so. What's funny is that that middle die so. is also technically able to make more dice. It just it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll here. We're just gonna we're just gonna play fast and loose. Oh, what's the though? When reroll this face has a one percent chance to increase the number of free shop refreshes by seven. Ah, we don't need that. All lightweights, heavyweights, super heavyweights, and shop weights are heavier. <laughs> Hey, like we've got it. We've got to wait. <sighs> uh, we do. And then the value of all triples will be increased by two hundred percent. Uh, triples. Oh, please. three three numeric faces of the uh, rolled at the same time. Which, uh, um, if we ever roll three ninety nines, yeah, these are both almost. Well, th this one's guaranteed to be a ninety nine soon. Uh, and then these two are getting there. So th that would be a, a pretty, that. yeah, that, that's a pretty reasonable odds. Uh, also, we could just buy it. Yeah, just, <laughs> I guess I'll just buy it. What is that bottom left one there? That plus, t just, is that just plus 10 basic dice? Yes. Huh. All dice all the time. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's grab this heavy weight on, uh, we'll put it on this 10x, I think. Uh... And then we'll save up for the gym gains, which will make our weights weightier. Okay. Uh, will we ever hit that jackpot? I mean, we'll see it. If we hit the jackpot, it's gonna we're gonna gain like seven hundred thousand in a single hit, at least. Uh, times five on that 99. Times two on that 99. <laughs> just because just I can. Uh, I'm just fast and loose on rerolls. Rerolls cost something now. I've you, used all my free ones. Even, you weren't even reading the... No, I'm... Look, we're an hour in. I'm going playing fast and loose, baby. Adjacent reroller bonuses, whatever, man. Adjacent Z reroller stuff. Attach virus. Attach glue. Place a die face with a die debate. Oh yeah, that's when it, it rebate creates, when it creates a new one. Yeah, it's rebate, not debate. I wanted to debate the dice. Uh, this this face is worth forty times the total quantity of dice in play. Yeah, we don't do a lot of that. We're just gonna yeah, just chill for a second. Do another re-roll here. If the total of quantity of dice in play is less than thirty. The value of all dice will be increased by fifty percent. Perfect. Yeah, we we can save up for that. And the no glue bonus. We have these already, but uh, yeah, we'll get more uh, of them. Yeah, we'll just get more of them. And then choose the numeric five face. All other faces on the chosen die will become duplicates of the chosen face. We can put a 99 on one of those other ones to make more yeah. 99s. That's true. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to grab that first. So that way 
We can go to, like, this one will always be this way, but we can make it so that they're all 99s. Which, which one? one? Either the top left or top right. I was going to say, I don't yeah. see your, your, yeah. We'll see your cursor. Yeah, I forgot to turn but, my cursor on. I will say that I don't know how much of a value you're going to get out of that. Like It's going to make the 99s more consistent. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. So that we can get the triple 99s. I was. I'm also looking at the, the, those two dice. Going, man. If you just put an incrementer on those, they'll be 99s in like a handful of rolls. Yeah, but then I gotta waste. Hey, man, you just go ahead. Go ahead and make one of them a full 99. Uh, let's see. Odd adjacency save, reroll. Save up for the two passives there. Yeah. So I'll save up for that one. The top left die is just always gonna look like that. Boom, and then save up for the no glue bonus. Wow! Boom! That, that was fast. Did we did we hit the jackpot? Is that we, what we, we, hit, we hit a jackpot? I was gonna say it, it, stuff happened in a hurry there. Yeah, when, when you go when you go back out, you can you can see we're currently sitting on that face. Well, removes all shop weights everywhere. Ah, I I like oh. my shop weights. Uh, less than six die bonus. Reroll, reroll. Oh, is that a is that a die duplicate in the bottom left? Uh, it's an exact duplicate of one of your dissing dies. We can just get. Yeah, we, a, we can hold on to that. A full uh, ninety nine. One of the ninety nines or one of the multipliers. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Die nine with one point nine nine million. <laughs> Yeah, and that one that, that die hit us a two million baby with a with a times ten and all that nonsense. Okay, that that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> oh, well, good job, us. We did it. <laughs> like, look, the odds of it happening are not great, but the odds are not zero. <laughs> well, especially when it's on a luck die like that. Also, look at these rolls. You're just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What die are we duplicating? Gamble. Gamble. <laughs> you are a menace. <laughs> no, it's... Our best bet is probably the, the, the total dice multiplier one. Yeah, this guy over here? The middle, I bottom think, one? I think so. Right. I think that one's going to consistently be the one that gets us more. Alrighty. And then, honestly, I think we just re-roll here. Plus 300% if you have less than six dice. Yeah, which Good we, lord. We are not. Uh, <laughs> it's one free shop refresh. It's technically to, to cheaper. Fair, it, is called it is a, way cheaper. It's called a cheaper refresh. You get exactly what it says. Plus one, plus one percent. Uh, every die has its value increased by one percent additive effect. Additionally, each die has its value increased by 1% for every time it's been incremented during this complete reroll. Or during this oh, complete roll. That's huge. Because uh, we still have incrementers on multiple dice. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's <laughs> Airplane times 5! Multiplier airstrike. Choose the target die. All dice in the same row as the target die. Game of 5 times attach multiplier on every face. <laughs> okay! That's weird but okay i just thought oh about that. geez did we just hit it again Ooh. yes we did and actually can we can we just buy buy that that can we buy that airstrike actually well we can buy whatever we want we're rich <laughs> well, that's true <laughs> um, I'll, I'll buy the little by little and i'll buy the multiplier airstrike because you know what you should put that airstrike on uh you should put that on something in that middle row oh yeah absolutely so that the seven the the jackpot gets a times five multiplier on itself. Uh. So. Do I just put it on like say this left die and then all of these dies in in this middle I row? I think so. Uh, I think I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just air struck the whole thing. You wanna. It's a die face with a 99 generator. Every 100 times, it creates a new die with 99s everywhere. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, oh, times 10 to the left? 
Previous roll multiplier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's silly. We don't need that. Uh, I'm just going to do a cheaper refresh. Yeah, grab a cheaper refresh. Put another five times multiplier on, I don't know, something. Do we have a bunch of faces that aren't multiplied. You can just slap that on literally any of the 99s. Yeah, right. Or any of the the times, the times yeah. 10s. Yeah, then we'll just roll again. Oh, there's another times ten, baby. That's there's what I'm looking for. There's another airstrike, baby. Another airstrike. So we could just hit another row, I guess. Uh, chain starts are now top left multiplier. Chain starts is when chain start is rolled. The next re-roll. Well, we have no chain anything. We have no chains. Run length multiplier. Every die in a run will be multiplied by the quantity on the run. A run is three more consecutive numeric dice rolled at the same time. Yeah, we're not doing that either. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. The plus an RNG die at eight million cost. As a die with completely random faces, this purchase cannot be undone. It's <laughs> not no, that's... sounding at all. Uh, there's a there's another times ten. Yeah, I, I was looking at it. Oh, oh we're gonna get that's it. Pretty good. Uh, let's let's airstrike this uh this top row here. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> and then we'll hold on for that times ten. Oh, oh, we rolled that one thing. <laughs> we, we, fi we finally made a new die. Oh, that's going to go nuts. Okay, we, we got that it. Die, that die is going to go absolutely insane. Because uh, look, look at what that die does, Do you, did you, if you forget. Yeah. So it could, it's going to make more over time eventually. Eventually. And then uh, multiplies times the quantity of dice in play, which is okay. Oh, um, yeah. I, I misinterpreted yeah. it, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, it, it's all right. Uh, let's get another 10 on this die, because this one has a times 10 that's weighted already. So if I put it on this bottom right die over, like, this 3, mm -hmm. I think that's uh, that's pretty good. Better bang for buck value. And then, honestly, what was this bomb here? Uh, the, the target die loses all of its attached modifiers. All dies adjacent to the target die gain copies of the target die's attached <laughs> modifiers. That's Ooh. silly. I'm, I'm gonna reroll. Uh, a lightweight. Um, okay. It's it's not a heavyweight. I would have preferred the weight be heavier. Yeah. Uh, if we don't have enough dice for that, and we don't have enough no. dice for that. Rolls are what getting... is that? What is that? Ten million? Is that another just fully random? Uh, adds a die with faces chosen randomly from the die faces that are currently face up on the dice in play. Okay. You know what? That could be fun. That could be fun. Could be. Right, we just we just gotta roll more dice. We're not getting through dice rolls <laughs> fast enough. We hit, we hit another jackpot. Uh. Okay. So this die. Uh, boop. Has a times 10, a 92, a 92. Uh, another times 4, 90 a 92. Something. Yeah. Uh, is it a 98 or a 99? Okay. Okay. And then it didn't want to go away from there. Okay. You know what? We're, we're real deep in this yeah, video. Yeah. I think. Uh, all right. So you just, just switch it to ultra speed and just go? Yeah. Let's just, uh. We're going ultra, baby. Wee. Here, I'll, I'll stop at a thousand, and we'll make a decision there. Oh, we made another die. Oh, we're, we're really thumping along now. Oh, we made another, another die. Oh, ah, oh, look what you've done. But 500 million, look at us. Uh, no, look, we got some free rerolls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Royal Flush. If you roll a run containing 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and at least four four leaf or at least five four leaf clovers, give all lottery faces and numeric faces that are part of a run 500% bonus. So that's like super gamble mode. Uh, yeah. Which is uh, not something we're doing exactly. Uh, another generator, another double baby shredders. Baby. Times five. Yeah, times five. Yeah, might as well slap a times five. Uh, you can search for a specific die face <laughs> using the Diopedia. It's true. We can. 
Well, the times five on the times ten. <laughs> and just you can't. It's got to be a numeric. Oh, it's got to be on numeric. Well, dang. Put on. We well, got another just, ninety-nine yeah, down there. Yeah, ninety-nine down here. Uh, just kind of. What are those? Well, if all oh. Yahtzees will be increased by a thousand percent. Now that is actually pretty good. Uh, We're starting to get to the point where we might roll five ninety-nines at done. the same time. Got it. Um. Oh, and is what's the the one next to it? Uh, the run one. Oh, that's the run one. We don't. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we can get another doubler on that center die. I don't know if we need it. Um, but it doubles its value every two times the die is attached to its reroll, and it rerolls a lot. And what other things do we have on there? Yeah, we, we have like this numeric times three multiplier that doesn't really matter much for that one. Or the uh, the, 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 the the quantity generator. generator. We're not going to be making another one at this point. I mean, we might. Nah. That's just big, big money, no whammy. And then just a, a times five on uh, the, that, that 92 there. And a times three on that 92 there. Sure. And then uh, we'll, we'll, right. we'll attach a heavy weight onto this times 10 over here. Sure. Uh, and then just rolls just uh, to look. Dupl dupl duplicate a die, get a full, another full 99 for the, for the Yahtzees. Uh okay. Uh oh no that's no that's what that's whenever that's yeah. the passive. Never yeah. mind. But it's another heavyweight. We like heavyweights. Uh we got a time ten over here that's not weighted. Boom. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? Uh oh, just a times two. What is the crazy multiplier next to it? Uh let's see. Oh yeah. Exclusive multiplier. Replace the die face with an exclusive multiplier. When exactly one exclusive multiplier lands face up, it will have the value of all slow faces plus 200% for each exclusive multiplier. That does not add up. However, if more than one exclusive multiplier lands face up, they will be worth nothing. Well, this is the only one we've ever seen, so... That's true. We'll hold on to it. Ooh, them numbers go up fast. All right. Exclusive multiplier... Replace this this one over here. All right, and now I'm just I'm just gonna send it now. These last thousand rolls, we're just going. We're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna make a couple more dice along the way, but we're we're just we're just going in. We're at two billion. When, when we reach, like, 300 rolls left, I'll, I'll take another look at the shop just to see. But I feel like this is how you gotta do it. It's like... Obviously, you can min-max super hard, but it would be a very long run. Yes. Boop. Okay, so... Now... We'll roll here. There's a... Plus, uh, there's a times 10. Uh, less than 30. I think we're still less than 30. Here we are, yep. Yeah. Uh, all dices will be incremented. Um, does that really matter for us, actually? We have a, we have a couple of small dice that are hmm. just not incrementing still. Sure. Uh, the value of all lottery faces will be worth an additional 500%. Yes. There you go, just for... Oh, we can't afford it. That's three, three and a half billion. Let's get it. All right. We're going to try to get it. Can we get it within the amount of rolls that we have left? Yes. Uh, yes. As it turns out. Yes, we can. There you go. Just for you. Uh, all right. So now if we can hit that lotto. We're just going to send it. Uh, you're rolling a on blows. However, your final score will be however many unspent points you have at the end of the game. Might be time to stop purchasing upgrades. Yes, I am rolling out. All right. And then it kind of it's... It shows you your graph of like how you did based on your roll numbers and your points. Uh, total points accumulated eight, uh, 16 billion, and we 
Only spent half of spent that. Spent half of it. Yeah, 21, 21 dice. dice. Generated 10, purchased 10. Highest scoring roll was almost <laughs> half a billion. Yeah. Highest scoring complete roll was definitely over half a billion. Most points from a single die roll was 218 <laughs> million. One, one die hit 218 million, huh? That's not bad. Uh, most points from a complete one, 302 million. Combined total rolls and rerolls, 14,883. Individual die rolls and rerolls, 60,000. 12 passives, 95 purchases. And Game Seed and... Tutorial 35. Well, there you go. Our previous high score was zero. Name. Ultra C, baby. Submit. Our place. Oh, the high score is getting to scientific notation. That's, yeah, I mean, I can understand that. That's that's how you know this game can go hard. Oh, there, it looks like there's also different game modes. On oh, top, it's a classic. Oh yeah, there's there's classic, there's quick modes, there's weeklies. This game's got a lot of stuff. All right. So yeah, if you want just like a chill game where you're just like making making that, numbers go burr. You say chill game, but that looks like it's like no 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 hold on I I can I can sweaty this math. Oh, you can you can absolutely sweaty the math <laughs> if you want to. But uh, yeah, it's just a it's a nice chill game uh, to relax. Uh, yeah. You don't gotta go too fast. You can take your time, but it's pretty cool. So uh, yeah. if you like rolling dice and if you chilled out with us for an hour and twenty minutes playing it, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little, something a little bit different, admittedly. But uh, let us know what you think in the comments. And I guess with that, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.